In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. The Noble Qur'an, Part 1, Chapter 1, Al-Fatiha, The Opening. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful, sovereign of the day of recompense. It is you we worship, and you we ask for help. Guide us to the straight path, the path of those upon whom you have bestowed favor, not of those who have evoked your anger, or of those who are astray. Chapter 2 Al-Baqarah, the Cow In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Alif, Lam, Mim. These are among the 14 opening letters which occur in various combinations at the beginning of 29 chapters in the Qur'an. Although there has been much speculation as to their meaning, it was not revealed by Allah to anyone and is known only to Him. This is the book about which there is no doubt, a guidance for those conscious of Allah, who believe in the unseen, establish prayer, and spend out of what we have provided for them, and who believe in what has been revealed to you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, and what was revealed before you, and of the hereafter, they are certain in faith. Those are upon right guidance from their Lord, and it is those who are the successful. Indeed, those who disbelieve, it is all the same for them, whether you warn them or do not warn them, they will not believe. Allah has set a seal upon their hearts and upon their hearing, and over their vision is a veil, and for them is a great punishment. And of the people are some who say, We believe in Allah and the last day, but they are not believers. They think to deceive Allah and those who believe, but they deceive not except themselves and perceive it not. In their hearts is disease, so Allah has increased their disease and for them is a painful punishment, because they habitually used to lie. And when it is said to them, Do not cause corruption on the earth, they say, We are but reformers. Unquestionably, it is they who are the corruptors, but they perceive it not. And when it is said to them, Believe as the people have believed, they say, Should we believe as the foolish have believed? Unquestionably, it is they who are the foolish, but they know it not. And when they meet those who believe, they say, we believe, but when they are alone with their evil ones, they say, Indeed we are with you, we were only mockers. But Allah mocks them and prolongs them in their transgression, while they wander blindly. Those are the ones who have purchased error in exchange for guidance, so their transaction has brought no profit, nor were they guided. Their example is that of one who kindled a fire, but when it illuminated what was around him, Allah took away their light and left them in darkness, so they could not see. Deaf, dumb, and blind, so they will not return to the right path. Or it is like a rainstorm from the sky, within which is darkness, thunder, and lightning. They put their fingers in their ears against the thunderclaps in dread of death, but Allah is encompassing of the disbelievers. The lightning almost snatches away their sight. Every time it lights the way for them, they walk therein, but when darkness comes over them, they stand still. And if Allah had willed, he could have taken away their hearing and their sight. Indeed, Allah is over all things competent. O mankind, worship your Lord who created you and those before you, that you may become righteous. He who made for you the earth, a bed spread out, and the sky a ceiling, and sent down from the sky rain and brought forth thereby fruits as provision for you. So do not attribute to Allah equals while you know that there is nothing similar to him. And if you are in doubt about what we have sent down, that is the Qur'an, upon our servant, that is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, then produce a surah the like thereof, and call upon your witnesses other than Allah, if you should be truthful. But if you do not, and you will never be able to, then fear the fire, whose fuel is men and stones prepared for the disbelievers, and give good tidings to those who believe and do righteous deeds, that they will have gardens in paradise, beneath which rivers flow. Whenever they are provided with a provision of fruit therefrom, they will say, This is what we were provided with before, and it is given to them in likeness. And they will have therein purified spouses, and they will abide therein eternally. Indeed, Allah is not timid to present an example, that of a mosquito or what is smaller than it. And those who have believed know that it is the truth from their Lord. But as for those who disbelieve, they say, what did Allah intend by this as an example? 
He misleads many thereby, and guides many thereby, and he misleads not except the defiantly disobedient, who break the covenant of Allah after contracting it and sever that which Allah has ordered to be joined and cause corruption on earth, it is those who are the losers. How can you disbelieve in Allah when you were lifeless and he brought you to life? Then he will cause you to die. Then he will bring you back to life. And then to him you will be returned. It is he who created for you all of that which is on the earth. Then he directed himself to the heaven, his being above all creation, and made them seven heavens, and he is knowing of all things. And mention, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, when your Lord said to the angels, Indeed, I will make upon the earth a successive authority, they said, Will you place upon it one who causes corruption therein and sheds blood, while we declare your praise and sanctify you? He, Allah, said, Indeed, I know that which you do not know. And he taught Adam the names, all of them. Then he showed them to the angels and said, Inform me of the names of these, if you are truthful. They said, Exalted are you. We have no knowledge except what you have taught us. Indeed, it is you who is the knowing, the wise. He said, O Adam, inform them of their names. And when he had informed them of their names, he said, Did I not tell you that I know the unseen aspects of the heavens and the earth? And I know what you reveal and what you have concealed. And mention when we said to the angels, Prostrate before Adam. So they prostrated, except for Iblis. He refused and was arrogant and became of the disbelievers. And we said, O Adam, dwell you and your wife in paradise and eat therefrom in ease and abundance from wherever you will, but do not approach this tree, lest you be among the wrongdoers. But Satan caused them to slip out of it and remove them from that condition in which they had been. And we said, Go down, all of you, as enemies to one another, and you will have upon the earth a place of settlement and provision for a time. Then Adam received from his Lord some words, and he accepted his repentance. Indeed, it is he who is the accepting of repentance, the merciful. We said, Go down from it, all of you, and when guidance comes to you from me, whoever follows my guidance, there will be no fear concerning them, nor will they grieve. And those who disbelieve and deny our signs, those will be companions of the fire, they will abide therein eternally. O children of Israel, remember my favor which I have bestowed upon you, and fulfill my covenant upon you, that I will fulfill your covenant from me, and be afraid of only me. And believe in what I have sent down, confirming that which is already with you, and be not the first to disbelieve in it. And do not exchange my signs for a small price, and fear only me. And do not mix the truth with falsehood, or conceal the truth while you know it. And establish prayer and give zakah, and bow with those who bow in worship and obedience. Do you order righteousness of the people and forget yourselves while you recite the scripture? Then will you not reason, and seek help through patience and prayer, and indeed it is difficult except for the humbly submissive to Allah, who are certain that they will meet their Lord and that they will return to Him. O children of Israel, remember my favor that I have bestowed upon you and that I preferred you over the worlds, and fear a day when no soul will suffice for another soul at all, nor will intercession be accepted from it, nor will compensation be taken from it, nor will they be aided. And recall when we saved you, that is your forefathers, from the people of Pharaoh, who afflicted you with the worst torment, slaughtering your newborn sons and keeping your females alive. And in that was a great trial from your Lord. And recall when we parted the sea for you and saved you and drowned the people of Pharaoh while you were looking on. And recall when we made an appointment with Moses for forty nights. Then you took for worship the calf after him, that is his departure, while you were wrongdoers. Then we forgave you after that, so perhaps you would be grateful. And recall when we gave Moses the scripture and criterion, that perhaps you would be guided. And recall when Moses said to his people, O my people, indeed you have wronged yourselves by your taking of the calf for worship, so repent to your Creator, and kill yourselves, that is the guilty among you, that is best, 
for all of you in the sight of your Creator. Then He accepted your repentance. Indeed, He is the accepting of repentance, the merciful. And recall when you said, O Moses, we will never believe you until we see Allah outright. So the thunderbolt took you while you were looking on. Then we revived you after your death, that perhaps you would be grateful. And we shaded you with clouds, and sent down to you manna and quails, saying, Eat from the good things with which we have provided you. And they wronged us not, but they were only wronging themselves. And recall when we said, Enter the city, that is Jerusalem, and eat from it wherever you will in ease and abundance, and enter the gate bowing humbly, and say, Relieve us of our burdens, that is sins. We will then forgive your sins for you, and we will increase the doers of good in goodness and reward. But those who wronged changed those words to a statement other than that which had been said to them. So we sent down upon those who wronged a punishment, that is plague, from the sky, because they were defiantly disobeying. And recall when Moses prayed for water for his people, so we said, Strike with your staff the stone, and there gushed forth from it twelve springs, and every people that is tribe knew its watering place. Eat and drink from the provision of Allah, and do not commit abuse on the earth, spreading corruption. And recall when you said, O Moses, we can never endure one kind of food. So call upon your Lord to bring forth for us from the earth its green herbs and its cucumbers and its garlic and its lentils and its onions. Moses said, Would you exchange what is better for what is less? Go into any settlement, and indeed you will have what you have asked. And they were covered with humiliation and poverty, and returned with anger from Allah upon them. That was because they repeatedly disbelieved in the signs of Allah, and killed the prophets without right. That was because they disobeyed and were habitually transgressing. Indeed, those who believed, and those who were Jews or Christians or Sabians, before Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, those among them who believed in Allah and the last day, and did righteousness, will have their reward with their Lord, and no fear will there be concerning them, nor will they grieve. And recall when we took your covenant, O children of Israel, to abide by the Torah, and we raised over you the mount, saying, Take what we have given you with determination, and remember what is in it, that perhaps you may become righteous. Then you turned away after that, and if not for the favor of Allah upon you and His mercy, you would have been among the losers. And you had already known about those who transgressed among you concerning the Sabbath, and we said to them, Be apes, despised. And we made it a deterrent punishment for those who were present, and those who succeeded them, and a lesson for those who fear Allah. And recall when Moses said to his people, Indeed, Allah commands you to slaughter a cow. They said, Do you take us in ridicule? He said, I seek refuge in Allah from being among the ignorant. They said, Call upon your Lord to make clear to us what it is. Moses said, Allah says it is a cow which is neither old nor virgin, but median between that. So do what you are commanded. They said, Call upon your Lord to show us what is her color. He said, he says it is a yellow cow, bright in color, pleasing to the observers. They said, Call upon your Lord to make clear to us what it is. Indeed all cows look alike to us, and indeed we, if Allah wills, will be guided. He said, He says it is a cow, neither trained to plough the earth nor to irrigate the field, one free from fault with no spot upon her. They said, Now you have come with the truth. So they slaughtered her, but they could hardly do it. And recall when you slew a man and disputed over it, but Allah was to bring out that which you were concealing. So we said, Strike him, that is the slain man, with part of it. Thus does Allah bring the dead to life, and he shows you his signs that you might reason. Then your hearts became hardened after that, being like stones or even harder. For indeed there are stones from which rivers burst forth, and there are some of them that split open and water comes out, and there are some of them that fall down for fear of Allah. And Allah is not unaware of what you do. Do you covet the hope, O believers, that they would believe for you, while a party of them used to hear the words of Allah, and then distort it, that is the Torah, after they had understood it, while they were knowing? 
And when they meet those who believe, they say, We have believed. But when they are alone with one another, they say, Do you talk to them about what Allah has revealed to you, so they can argue with you about it before your Lord? Then will you not reason? But do they not know that Allah knows what they conceal and what they declare? And among them are unlettered ones who do not know the scripture except indulgement in wishful thinking, but they are only assuming. So woe to those who write the scripture with their own hands then say, This is from Allah, in order to exchange it for a small price. Woe to them for what their hands have written, and woe to them for what they earn. And they say, Never will the fire touch us except for a few numbered days. Say, Have you taken a covenant with Allah? For Allah will never break his covenant. Or do you say about Allah that which you do not know? Yes, on the contrary. Whoever earns evil and his sin has encompassed him, those are the companions of the fire. They will abide therein eternally. But they who believe and do righteous deeds, those are the companions of paradise. They will abide therein eternally. And recall when we took the covenant from the children of Israel, enjoining upon them, Do not worship except Allah and to parents do good, and to relatives, orphans, and the needy, and speak to people good words, and establish prayer and give zakah. Then you turned away, except a few of you, and you were refusing. And recall when we took your covenant, saying, Do not shed your, that is, each other's blood, or evict one another from your homes. Then you acknowledged this while you were witnessing. Then you are those same ones who are killing one another and evicting a party of your people from their homes, cooperating against them in sin and aggression. And if they come to you as captives, you ransom them, although their eviction was forbidden to you. So do you believe in part of the scripture and disbelieve in part? Then what is the recompense for those who do that among you except disgrace in worldly life and on the day of resurrection they will be sent back to the severest of punishment? and Allah is not unaware of what you do. Those are the ones who have bought their life in this world in exchange for the hereafter, so the punishment will not be lightened for them, nor will they be aided. And we did certainly give Moses the scripture, that is the Torah, and followed up after him with messengers. And we gave Jesus the son of Mary clear proofs, and supported him with the pure spirit, that is the angel Gabriel. But is it not that every time a messenger came to you, O children of Israel, with what your souls did not desire, you were arrogant, and a party of messengers you denied, and another party you killed? And they said, Our hearts are wrapped, but in fact Allah has cursed them for their disbelief. So little is it that they believe. And when there came to them a book, that is the Qur'an, from Allah confirming that which was with them, although before they used to pray for victory against those who disbelieved, but then when there came to them that which they recognized, they disbelieved in it. So the curse of Allah will be upon the disbelievers. How wretched is that for which they sold themselves, that they would disbelieve in what Allah has revealed through their outrage, that Allah would send down his favor upon whom he wills from among his servants. So they returned having earned wrath upon wrath, and for the disbelievers is a humiliating punishment. And when it is said to them, Believe in what Allah has revealed, they say, We believe only in what was revealed to us, and they disbelieve in what came after it, while it is the truth, confirming that which is with them. Say, Then why did you kill the prophets of Allah before, if you are indeed believers? And Moses had certainly brought you clear proofs. Then you took the calf in worship after that, while you were wrongdoers. And recall when we took your covenant and raised over you the mount, saying, Take what we have given you with determination and listen. They said instead, We hear and disobey. And their hearts absorbed the worship of the calf because of their disbelief. Say, How wretched is that which your faith enjoins upon you, if you should be believers. Say, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, If the home of the hereafter with Allah is for you alone, and not the other people, then wish for death, if you should be truthful. But never will they wish for it ever because of what their hands have put forth, and Allah is knowing of the wrongdoers. And you will surely find them the most greedy of people for life, even more than those who associate others with Allah. One of them wishes that he could be granted life a thousand years, but it would not remove him in the least from the coming punishment that he should be granted life. 
and Allah is seeing of what they do. Say, whoever is an enemy to Gabriel, it is none but he who has brought it, that is the Qur'an, down upon your heart, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, by permission of Allah, confirming that which was before it, and as guidance and good tidings for the believers. Whoever is an enemy to Allah and his angels and his messengers and Gabriel and Michael, then indeed Allah is an enemy to the disbelievers. And we have certainly revealed to you verses which are clear proofs, and no one would deny them except the defiantly disobedient. Is it not true that every time they took a covenant, a party of them threw it away? But in fact, most of them do not believe. And when a messenger from Allah came to them confirming that which was with them, a party of those who had been given the scripture through the scripture of Allah, that is the Torah, behind their backs, as if they did not know what it contained. And they followed instead what the devils had recited during the reign of Solomon. It was not Solomon who disbelieved, but the devils disbelieved, teaching people magic and that which was revealed to the two angels at Babylon, Harut and Marut. But they, that is the two angels, do not teach anyone unless they say, We are a trial, so do not disbelieve by practicing magic. And yet they learn from them that by which they cause separation between a man and his wife. But they do not harm anyone through it, except by permission of Allah. And they, that is the people, learn what harms them and does not benefit them. But they, that is the children of Israel, certainly knew that whoever purchased it, that is magic, would not have in the hereafter any share, and wretched is that for which they sold themselves, if they only knew. And if they had believed and feared Allah, then the reward from Allah would have been far better, if they only knew. O you who have believed, say not to Allah's messenger, Ra'ina, but say, Unthurna, and listen. And for the disbelievers is a painful punishment. Neither those who disbelieve from the people of the scripture, that is the Jews and Christians, nor the polytheists, wish that any good should be sent down to you from your Lord, but Allah selects for his mercy whom he wills, and Allah is the possessor of great bounty. We do not abrogate a verse or cause it to be forgotten, except that we bring forth one better than it or similar to it. Do you not know that Allah is over all things competent? Do you not know that to Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth, and that you have not besides Allah any protector or any helper? Or do you intend to ask your messenger as Moses was asked before, and whoever exchanges faith for disbelief has certainly strayed from the soundness of the way? Many of the people of the scripture wish they could turn you back to disbelief after you have believed, out of envy from themselves, even after the truth has become clear to them. So pardon and overlook until Allah delivers his command. Indeed, Allah is over all things competent. And establish prayer and give zakah, and whatever good you put forward for yourselves, you will find it with Allah. Indeed, Allah of what you do is seeing. And they say, none will enter paradise except one who is a Jew or a Christian. That is merely their wishful thinking. Say, produce your proof, if you should be truthful. Yes, on the contrary, whoever submits his face, that is oneself, in Islam to Allah while being a doer of good, will have his reward with his Lord. And no fear will there be concerning them, nor will they grieve. The Jews say, the Christians have nothing true to stand on. And the Christians say, the Jews have nothing to stand on, although they both recite the scripture. Thus do those who know not, that is the polytheists, speak the same as their words. But Allah will judge between them on the day of resurrection concerning that over which they used to differ. And who are more unjust than those who prevent the name of Allah from being mentioned, that is praised, in his mosques and strive towards their destruction? It is not for them to enter them except in fear. For them in this world is disgrace, and they will have in the hereafter a great punishment. And to Allah belongs the east and the west, so wherever you might turn, there is the face of Allah. Indeed, Allah is all-encompassing and knowing. They say, Allah has taken a son, exalted is he, Rather, to him belongs whatever is in the heavens and the earth. All are devoutly obedient to him. Originator of the heavens and the earth, when he decrees a matter, he only says to it, Be, and it is. Those who do not know say, Why does Allah not speak to us? Or there come to us a sign? Thus spoke those before them like their words. Their hearts resemble each other. We have shown clearly the signs to a people who are certain in faith. 
Indeed, we have sent you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, with the truth as a bringer of good tidings and a warner, and you will not be asked about the companions of hellfire. And never will the Jews and Christians approve of you until you follow their religion. Say, indeed the guidance of Allah is the only guidance. If you were to follow their desires after what has come to you of knowledge, you would have against Allah no protector or helper. Those to whom we have given the book recite it with its true recital. They are the ones who believe in it, and whoever disbelieves in it, it is they who are the losers. O children of Israel, remember my favor which I have bestowed upon you, and that I have preferred you over the worlds. And fear a day when no soul will suffice for another soul at all, and no compensation will be accepted from it, nor will any intercession benefit it, nor will they be aided. And mention, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, when Abraham was tried by his Lord with words, that is, commands, and he fulfilled them. Allah said, Indeed, I will make you a leader for the people. Abraham said, And of my descendants? Allah said, My covenant does not include the wrongdoers. And mention when we made the house, that is the Kaaba, a place of return for the people, and a place of security, and take, O believers, from the standing place of Abraham, a place of prayer. And we charged Abraham and Ishmael, saying, Purify my house for those who perform tawaf, and those who are staying there for worship, and those who bow and prostrate in prayer. And mention when Abraham said, My Lord, make this a secure city, and provide its people with fruits. Whoever of them believes in Allah in the last day, Allah said, And whoever disbelieves, I will grant him enjoyment for a little, then I will force him to the punishment of the fire, and wretched is the destination. And mention when Abraham was raising the foundations of the house, and with him Ishmael, saying, Our Lord, accept this from us. Indeed, you are the hearing, the knowing. Our Lord, and make us Muslims in submission to you, and from our descendants a Muslim nation in submission to you, and show us our rights of Hajj and Umrah, and accept our repentance. Indeed, you are the accepting of repentance, the merciful. Our Lord, and send among them a messenger from themselves, who will recite to them your verses, and teach them the book, and wisdom, and purify them. Indeed, you are the exalted in might, the wise. And who would be averse to the religion of Abraham, except one who makes a fool of himself? And we had chosen him in this world, and indeed he in the hereafter will be among the righteous. When his Lord said to him, Submit, he said, I have submitted in Islam to the Lord of the worlds. And Abraham instructed his sons to do the same, and so did Jacob, saying, O my sons, indeed Allah has chosen for you this religion, so do not die except while you are Muslims. Or were you witnesses when death approached Jacob, when he said to his sons, What will you worship after me? They said, We will worship your God, and the God of your fathers, Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac, one God, and we are Muslims in submission to him. That was a nation which has passed on. It will have the consequence of what it earned, and you will have what you have earned, and you will not be asked about what they used to do. They say, Be Jews or Christians, so you will be guided. Say, Rather we follow the religion of Abraham, inclining toward truth, and he was not of the polytheists. Say, O believers, we have believed in Allah, and what has been revealed to us, and what has been revealed to Abraham, and Ishmael, and Isaac, and Jacob, and the descendants, and what was given to Moses, and Jesus, and what was given to the prophets from their Lord. We make no distinction between any of them, and we are Muslims in submission to him. So if they believe in the same as you believe in, then they have been rightly guided. But if they turn away, they are only in dissension, and Allah will be sufficient for you against them, and he is the hearing, the knowing. And say, ours is the religion of Allah, and who is better than Allah in ordaining religion, and we are worshippers of him. Say, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, do you argue with us about Allah, while he is our Lord and your Lord, for us are our deeds, and for you are your deeds, and we are sincere in deed and intention to him. Or do you say that Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and the descendants were Jews or Christians? Say, are you more knowing, or is Allah? And who is more unjust than one who conceals a testimony he has from Allah? And Allah is not unaware of what you do. That is a nation which has passed on. It will have the consequence of what it earned, and you will have what you have earned, and you will not be asked about what they used to do.